Good evening and welcome to We the People. 25 years after Indira Gandhi was assassinated, it's probably fair to say that there isn't any other prime minister whose legacy is so hotly debated and who continues to have a strong imprint on India's public consciousness. Of course, issues like the emergency and Operation Blue Star continue to shadow Indira Gandhi's tenure as Prime Minister. But there are many, many other Indians, even those who were not born when she was Prime Minister, who remember her as one of the strongest Prime Ministers, one of the most decisive leaders that India has ever had. On We the People today, we debate Indira Gandhi's legacy. Was she, in fact, the strongest Prime Minister that this country has ever known? We, of course, have a live audience as usual. You can also log on to our website, ndtv.com, and take part in our debate online. You can send your comments via SMS, or you can also tweet your comments. My Twitter handle is at Bidat. Let's get straight into the debate this evening. Let me start with Mani Shankar Ayer. What do you think it is about Indira Gandhi that even, you know, the current generation that probably was, was born after she was killed, Yet, everybody has a view, everybody has an opinion about Indira. Why is that? For the reason that you mentioned. She was an extremely strong and an extremely decisive person who rose in circumstances which for its time were completely unusual. When Indira Gandhi became Prime Minister of India, I remember Rahul's father writing about the comment that his grandfather had made, well, how can this kudi run this country? <laughs> and she was called a Gungi Gudiya by Ramanohar Lohia. And from that she rose to the point where first she challenges the entire Congress establishment, knocks them over, gets thrown out of the party, then stands in an election against a grand alliance of everybody together in 1971, overwhelms them with a two-third majority, then faces the challenge of what the Pakistanis were doing in East Pakistan, wins the war over Bangladesh, faces severe economic crises that came on at that time, meets the challenge mounted by George Fernandez and later Jay Prakash Narayan by declaring an emergency, which becomes extremely controversial, but is validated by the Supreme Court, and as being within the framework of the Constitution. And then within the framework of that same Constitution, insists on holding an election, where not only is her party defeated, and her son defeated, but she herself is defeated. And two years later, she's on that elephant to Belchi, and the people of India sit up and say, this is a true leader, and bring her back with an amazing majority. This is a saga. It's not just a life. And in all the ups and downs, the triumph ultimately is hers. And therefore, the tragedy of her assassination is also one that lives with us. If you go to the Indira Gandhi Memorial on Saftarjang Road, You'll see the crowds gathered there. But you go to Teen Murti, there are not so many there. She has, Jawaharlal Nehru has receded a little in the national consciousness mm. into an iconic figure. That's quite controversial. You're saying Gandhi, that Indira has more of an imprint than Nehru. Well, uh, I, think the foundations, I think the foundations of our country were laid by Jawaharlal Nehru. I think the profile of our nation is Jawaharlal Nehru's. And I think she was truly a successor of his, not merely in genetic terms, but in philosophical terms. But if she leaves such a big impression on the minds of Indians, it is because she not only was confronted with a host of domestic hmm. and international challenges, but somehow rose above them and okay. remained in our minds as somebody whom we take to be the Durga that Atal Bihari Vajpayee described her described as her in as, the yes. immediate aftermath of the 1971 war. Dal Singh, if I can, if, if I can get you in uh, now. Interestingly, so much is said about, you know, your father Kushwan <clears throat> Singh validating the emergency, but then later taking a very different position on Operation Blue Star. Do you believe that, in a sense, uh, Blue Star, was the longest shadow, maybe even longer than the emergency, or do you think it looks like that to us because people of my age are closer to that memory than of the emergency? Well, actually, I'm writing a biography of uh, Indira Gandhi for Penguins, and when I started researching it about two years ago, I was, like all journalists, very anti-Indira Gandhi because of the, the emergency. emergency.